Are you ready to skyrocket your sales and transform your business in 2024? In today's video, we're diving deep into our free sales funnel course. You'll discover the secrets behind building six most powerful sales funnel blueprint that not only attracts customers, but converts them into loyal buyers. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to turn your ideas into profits. Let's begin with our first funnel that is lead magnet funnel. Okay, so this is the lead magnet funnel right here. And the lead magnet funnel is really simple and it only has one job. It's to collect leads to get people to give you their name and email address. It's the most basic funnel and it really is kind of the foundation for any successful business. You need to capture leads. You need to build up your email list. As people say, the money is in the list. It's still in the list. You still want to capture emails because there is no better form of communication at this particular point unless you want to kind of put all of your eggs in one basket and go with Facebook or something like that. There's still no better form of communication than email. So this right here allows you to collect emails. How does it work? Very simple. You have your lead magnet opt-in page where people put in their name and email. It can be anything for from a free report to a video training, whatever it may be, right? They're getting some sort of value by putting in an exchange for their name and email. When they put in that their name and email, they go to a thank you page. On that thank you page, you can have a call to action and you should have a call to action. This is where the funnel stacking process kind of starts taking place. This call to action should push people to either a sales page or to whatever the next step is that you want them to take. So it could be to go and register for an upcoming webinar or whatever it may be. And you'll kind of start getting some ideas as to how to stack your funnels. Okay. Once they put in their name and email, they will be sent a lead magnet delivery email, right? Obviously you want to give them what they opted in for. So that's what they're going to receive is that lead magnet delivery email, which is going to push them to a download page. Now, a lot of people make this mistake, which is they embed or just link straight to the PDF, right? Let's say your lead magnet is a report. They link straight to the PDF inside of, inside of their email, but you're kind of missing out on an opportunity by linking straight to the PDF. What you want to do instead is push people to a download page where you can have multiple calls to action. The first one will be, hey, go and download this thing. But you can also push people to say, you know, step two is go and watch this short presentation, which actually pushes people to a sales page over here, right? So now you can see how you can stack on a product sales funnel onto the end of this. So you should always push people to a download page with your lead magnet delivery email. Then you obviously have your report, which is whatever. Again, it could be a video, whatever it is that you promised that person. Okay. And then the last part or the last component of the lead magnet funnel is your indoctrination sequence. You always want to indoctrinate people into your brand, into your business. And the indoctrination sequence is always meant to provide a little bit of value, but really get people to know who you are, what you stand for, what you stand against, what your mission is, get them to join your Facebook group, your Facebook page, really just indoctrinating them into your business. Okay. So that is the first funnel. It is the lead magnet funnel. If you have any questions about it, let us know. Next, we will talk about survey funnels. Now this is how survey funnel looks. So this is also meant to capture leads. It's meant to generate more. It's where you want to funnel your traffic and then start segmenting your leads, right? So the reason why it's slightly more powerful than just a generic lead magnet funnel is that number one, it allows you to segment your, your leads into various buckets. So this is super powerful. For example, if you're in the health and wellness space and you want to segment men versus women, right? Or if you want to segment people who are losing weight versus who want to gain weight. Now, all of a sudden you can tailor your message. You can tag them. You can really start tailoring to the path that they go down and in your messaging based off of what they answered inside of the survey. The survey also can also be a calculator, for example, like we do with our IFYM business. But again, the goal here is to generate as many leads as possible, but to segment those leads. And it's a very simple funnel in general. The second benefit to it is people intrinsically like knowing that they're going to get a custom answer, or at least what they feel will be a custom answer. And that's what happens when you fill out a survey, when you fill out a calculator, right? You're putting in your details, your answers. And what the results that get spit out are a lot more engaging than your typical generic PDF or, or lead magnet funnel right? Because the results that are generated are based on that survey answer and it's tailored specifically to that person. That's why those personality quizzes are so popular on the internet. So again, very, very simple funnel. You always want to kind of stack this with some other funnel afterwards. But once you start collecting emails, now you can go in and push people onto various funnels like a webinar or a mini class or just straight to a product sales funnel or even an application funnel. So how does it work? Very simple. You send people to the survey landing page and based on their survey results, they end up in various buckets. Right here, we've just listed kind of three buckets, but it actually, you know, could very well be another, another bucket over here. We could, you know, we could add kind of this, this fourth bucket over here. It really depends on the potential outcome of your, of your survey, right? So that's what it comes down to. Right now in this particular one, we just showed three. As soon as they fill out on this, this survey results page is going to be tailored to them. And there's always going to be a call to action. 
Now, in this particular little drawing, it says by now. It doesn't have to be by now. It could be just go and read this next blog post or go and register for this webinar specifically tailored for this particular bucket. And you always want to send people an email that gives them the results. Again, that email needs to be tailored based on that bucket. So that's how the survey funnel works. Really simple. Again, if you have any questions, please let us know. Now, next we'll talk about webinar funnels. Now, this is how webinar funnel looks. The webinar funnel is one of the most powerful funnels on the internet right now. If you want to sell digital courses, usually you use webinars when you're selling something for a slightly more premium price. And I'm talking about, you know, $300 to about $2,000. That's what you use. But you can also use a webinar funnel to generate applications to get people onto onto the phone with you, right? So as you'll see in this particular funnel, we didn't put where where we push people. Because again, when somebody joins and goes to our live webinar, the call to action on that live webinar may be go and buy now, which is sending people to a sales page or an order page, or maybe go and apply. So it all depends on what your goal is with your webinar. But the reason you use a webinar is because you want people to know, like, and trust you. You need to build a relationship with people prior to them actually being able to pull out their credit card and buy something from you. Okay? A webinar usually lasts 60 to 90 minutes, and that's a long time to build that bond. If you share stories, if you structure your webinar properly, people will pay attention to what it is that you say. They'll feel like they have a connection with you right away. And you'll be able to sell them pretty much anything you want if your webinar is super engaging and structured the way it needs to be. Okay? And this is the best way to structure your webinar funnel. And I'll break it down for you right now. So first is obviously your webinar registration page, right? You want people to opt in, sign up for the upcoming webinar, whenever that webinar may be. You can do this in both an evergreen format and you can do it in a live format. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, but you're getting people to register for your webinar. And obviously on that thank you page, you can have a call to action and you should have a call to action on your thank you page. And that could be pitching them a small little one-time offer so that you can start recuperating some of your advertising costs. It could be just sending them to a survey. You could definitely stack on kind of a survey funnel onto this. But you want to have something on your thank you page. You could just keep it super simple and just say, hey, thank you for registering for the webinar. Look out for your emails for when to attend the webinar. But that's where you send people on to your thank you page. And obviously, you want to send them a confirmation email as soon as they register. And the next thing that you want to do with the webinar funnel is pre-frame your webinar. So there are a couple of ways that you can do that. The most popular way and this is kind of something I learned from Frank Kern, and it works extremely well, is this pre-framing by sending people a couple videos before they ever attend the webinar. So you send them a pre-frame email with a pre-frame video, and then a second pre-frame email with a second pre-frame video, a different type of video. And on that video, there's really no call to action. There's really nothing that you're trying to do. You're just trying to educate them, getting get them excited for the upcoming webinar. And then it goes and transitions into your attendance sequence. So the day of your webinar, even 24 hours before, 48 hours before, you want to start sending people emails so that they show up, right? The biggest problem right now with webinars is show up rates. It's really hard to get people to show up, especially if you're in the internet marketing space, because people are so jaded when it comes to webinars. They know that they're just some big sales pitch at the end of the day. So you need to try and get people to show up. And in order to make that happen, you have to have a strong attendance sequence. And that attendance sequence is going to push people, obviously, to your live webinar, right? That's the whole point of it is to push people there. If they go on and take action, great. If they don't, you definitely want to send them that replay so you have your replay sequence pushing people to the replay page. And again, I'll show you how you can stack some of this stuff with other funnels. How you can stack a product sales page over here, a product sales funnel, or an application funnel, depending on what it is that you're trying to do, who your dream client is. So that's the webinar funnel. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. Wow. Okay, now next we will talk about application funnels. Now this is the application funnel. This funnel right here, is to get people on the phone with you, right? This funnel stacked with a webinar funnel or stacked with a survey funnel at the beginning is super powerful because not everyone is going to put in their credit card right inside of an order form without speaking to somebody. If you're selling anything above $2,000, you are better off getting somebody on the phone with you, speaking to them and closing them on the phone. And the best way to do that is by getting them to apply to get on the phone with you. You don't want just everyone to get on the phone with you. What if they don't, what if they're not qualified? What if they're not your dream prospect? What if they aren't that person that you actually want to be speaking with? You need to filter those people out by getting them to fill out an application. Okay, so how does the application funnel work? Very, very simple. You have your offer page, which can have a video. It can have just copy. The goal of that offer page is to tell them what are they applying for, right? They need to know what it is they're applying for. And you want to try and stay away from, hey, apply for a consultation session. Apply for, you know, let's just get on the phone for a free 30-minute strategy session. You can still offer that on your offer page, but you're not specific enough. You're not filtering out people. I would be more specific as to why they're applying and what it is that they're applying for. So they go and they, they watch this 
And then the call to action is go and fill out the application. So they land onto an application form. That's where they fill out their details. That's where you ask them whatever it is that you want to ask them so that you can filter out and figure out whether or not they're worth speaking to. Now, anybody who fills out an application, if they qualify and there's software that allows you to make rules based off of their answer questions, you send them straight to your calendar. Now, this is not obligatory. You don't have to send them straight to your calendars for them to schedule something. But regardless, you're going to have to follow up with them for them to schedule a call if they don't schedule one by themselves, right? So you have a couple emails asking them when is the best time or just sending them to your calendar or your schedule once or whatever it is so that they can go ahead and schedule a call with you. When they do schedule the call, they land on a confirmation page. And of course, you send them a call confirm page. So that's the application funnel. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Now Next, we will talk about mini class launch funnels. Mini class is also known as a product launch funnel. It's also known as a three-part video series. And really what it's doing is pretty much engaging people in a similar way as a webinar funnel. But instead of sitting down for 60 to 90 minutes in one setting, you're basically breaking up three core concepts into three mini videos. And these videos can last anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. And you know, they can be shorter than that. The goal though is to take people from concept one, concept two, concept three. And we want people to be engaged at all three of these videos. So the way it works is very simple. People register for your three-part video series, your mini class. Again, they land on a thank you page. That thank you page can push people directly to video number one if you want, or it can push people somewhere else. It's up to you to decide how you want to take advantage of that thank you page. But basically, you're sending people one email that goes to email one. Two days or a day later, they get email two with video two. And 24 hours later, or however long later, they get email three with video three. And then there's a call to action at the end of each video. And again, that call to action can change depending on what it is that you want to do. So, for example, video one, you could just not have any call to action. It could just be download this, this PDF as an extra resource. Same thing with the video two and video three is go ahead and apply for our coaching program or go and buy this particular product that we've just launched. Okay, so that's how the mini class funnel works. It's super, super powerful if you're trying to educate people. Again, if you're selling something at a higher price point, if you're selling something for over $1,000, you really want to build that relationship with your prospects. You really want to build that relationship with your leads and nurture them and educate them. And that's why the mini class funnel works super well. It's actually how we scaled our Mandarin language school when I built up a Mandarin language school back in, in 2012. And we sold that business for, for close to half a $1 million. And it was all built with this kind of mini class funnel. We, we pre-educated people on learning Mandarin. We gave them the basics and then we pushed them to get more lessons. And that's exactly how we scaled that business. So if you have any questions about the mini class funnel, let us know. And lastly, we will talk about product launch sales funnels. Now, this is how product sales funnel looks. The product sales funnel is there to sell any sort of physical or digital product where people are putting in their credit card details right then and there without speaking to anybody on the phone. It's really that simple. And the funnel itself is super basic. It really does not include that much. What it is is a sales page with an order page, right? So your product description is on your sales page. The call to action is to go and buy that product and it takes them to an order page. That order page could have a bump. It could not have an order bump. It depends on your business. You can add, you know, more offers or whatnot on that order page. But regardless, the goal here is to get people to pull out their credit card and enter their credit card details and hit the buy button once they buy. And this is where a lot of people make mistakes. Normally, people just go and send their traffic directly to the order confirmation page right here. They skip any sort of upsells. And then that's just it's, it's a mistake because you need to increase the lifetime value. You need to increase the order card value of your customers. And there is no better time to buy than the minute they've just bought something. They're there amped up. They're excited that they've just bought something. They have their credit card in front of them. If there's any other time for them to buy, it's instantly. So what you want to do is present them with an upsell. Now in this particular funnel, I've added two upsells and two downsells. But you don't have to have two upsells. You don't have to have two downsells. You don't even have to have any downsells. But you should at least have one upsell. Okay. So they go and buy this original product on the sales page. Now you present them with a second offer something that is going to enhance their experience from this first product. If they go ahead and buy that, you can present them another upsell if you have one. If not, no worries. You send them straight to the confirmation page. If they say no to this upsell, you can present them a downsell. And the way you can position your downsell is by giving them a discount, maybe giving them a free trial, depends, maybe giving them a completely different offer that has nothing to do with the first offer, right? So now you can present them with a downsell. If they say yes to that, you can send them to the confirmation or 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 to upsell number two. The way this funnel is laid out is that there's two upsells, two downsells. But again, you can tweak it however you please. 
But this is an essential funnel if you want to sell anything online where somebody puts in their credit card without speaking to somebody. And, of course, after they land on their confirmation page, you want to make sure you send them a welcome email, a confirmation email that they've received the product, and how to access the product and all of that stuff. So this is the product sales funnel. And this funnel right here will help you actually convert prospects, convert leads, convert traffic into customers if you want people to put in their credit card without speaking to anybody. So if you have any questions about that, let me know down below. Congratulations on taking the first step towards mastering your sales funnel. If you found this course valuable, don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow entrepreneurs. And remember, the journey doesn't stop here. Check out the links in the description for additional resources and our exclusive community where you can connect with like-minded individuals ready to take their sales game to the next level.